Welcome back to my channel. This will be the second video that I'm uploading today. And uh, this one, I'm going to be showing off some things that I don't see a lot of people show, especially in the metal community, because they're not really metal. These are more records that are non-metal that I enjoy or that I've found and are giving a shot. Now we're going to start out with Meatloaf's Bad Out of Hell. Uh, it was released in October of 1977 on Cleveland International. It sold close to 43 million copies. It's also ranked as uh, the 343rd best album, best best albums ever, actually, by Bill by Billboards and. Uh, it, this album clocks in at 46 minutes and 33 seconds, and uh, it's got eight tracks on it, or seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's got seven. Uh, this one has Bad Out of Hell, You Took the Words Right Out of My Mouth, Heaven Can Wait, All Revved Up, No Place to Go, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, For Crying Out Loud. Now, everyone should really know who Meatloaf are, even if you don't like Meatloaf. You've probably heard the song Bad Out of Hell or Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. Uh, yeah, so, Black Vinyl. It came out on uh, Cleveland Records. Cleveland, like I said, Cleveland International. And this is a first press, 1977. I was lucky enough to find this for a steal. I think I got it for like three bucks. Uh, next up, I got one that, this is one of my personal favorites, because uh, I've been watching this person's movies for my entire life, and I really enjoy uh, her acting. She played with, she, she played alongside with Mickey Rooney for 17 of his, his, his movies, uh, and uh, she did, I'm trying to think, Thoroughbreds, Love Finds, Andy Hardy, uh, the Hardy Boys, those are just a few of the ones off the top of my head, and this is... Uh, she was also best known for The Wizard of Oz, so I'm sure by now you all know who I'm talking about, and that's Judy Garland. Now this is a record of Judy Garland performing at Carnegie Hall, April 23rd, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't say on here the year, but I think it's 1961 if I'm correct. And uh, this, this album clocks in at 122 minutes. The backing orchestra on it is by Matt Lindsay. It was put out in Capitol Records. Uh, for being a live album, though, it's still one album of the year of for 1961, and it won a Grammy. And this was also during the time where she was going through her rehab uh, in Europe, and she was just coming back to the states, and uh, she toured the United States, and then she came, then she went back to Europe, and uh, it's tragic, really. What happened a couple years later to, that followed uh, her demise, obviously. Uh, this is the gatefold. And uh, I saw one other YouTuber that showed this, actually. Only one. And uh, they said that they had a repress. And mine doesn't show two trademark stamps on it. Or it doesn't show a different one. So I'm assuming, considering how his was a repress and this didn't look the same, that... This is an original, uh, and it's on plain black vinyl. Oh, I hate the sound of vinyls on these old sleeves. The way it goes in like that. Uh, and on this album, she she uh, started out with an overture, and she did uh, the trolley song, and then... Following up was one of her most well-known, which was Over the Rainbow. The Men That Got Away, When You're Smiling. And then she did a medley of Almost Like Being in Love, This Can't Be Love. Then after that, Do It Again, You Go To My Head, All Together. And then on the second vinyl on the first side, she did Who Cares As Long As You Care For Me. Putting On The Ritz, How Long Has This Been Going On, Just You, Just Me, The Men... That, the Man That Got Away, San Francisco, I Can't Give You Anything But Love, That's Entertainment, Come Rain or Come Shine, You're Near, A Foggy Day, If Love Were All, Zing Went The Hearts Of, Went The Strings Of My Heart, which, uh, that was one of the songs that she did in one of the Andy Hardy movies, Stormy Weather, then she started to end it with another medley of You Made Me Love You, 
for me and my gal. The trolley song, rock a by your baby with a Dixie melody. And then she did the full song of Over the Rainbow. Then she did After You're Gone, and she finished off with Chicago. Yeah, and there it is here. Now I see this. This is where it shows it was recorded in 1961. But uh, like I said, I, I know this was this wasn't put out until I think 1967, and like I was explaining, the person that I saw have the other one. It was different, so I haven't seen another copy of this floating around on YouTube. So if anybody knows, leave uh, you know leave something in the comments. But I highly doubt that that's what, that that's gonna happen. Uh, all right, next up we have one of my favorite hardcore bands. Uh, this is Modern Life Is War with my love my way and i was so happy to find out that this was pressed death wish is the record label they were on for this out or they were on i'm trying to think i think they were on lifeline records and then death wish took over the represses of this uh i do know that it came out originally in 2003 it's 10 tracks and out of on this one my favorite ones are by the sea and first and ellen they're more of a poetic hardcore band uh very meaningful lyrics. Uh, if, if you like things like uh, being as an ocean, I'd give this a shot. But like I said, just remember it's a little bit more on the on the hardcore side. So uh, if you get a chance and you, you like the description of it, give this a shot. It's well worth it. And this came on an amazing red vinyl. Look at that. You can see right through it. And then we've got Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast. I really don't have to say too much about this one. Every metalhead regardless knows about this one. Uh, it was released in March of 1982, re-released in 1998, and then I guess re-released in 2015. Uh, this one was... Uh, actually, I'd have no clue who put this one out. I guess I should have looked that up. Uh, anyway, it's on what seems to, what I think is 180 vinyl, 180 gram vinyl. It's very, very thick. Uh, this one clocks in at 39 minutes and 11 seconds. It had two singles, which would go on to be two of their biggest songs ever. Uh, Run to the Hills and Number of the Beasts. Uh, Derek Riggs did the art for this album. It was originally done for the song uh, Purgatory. It was inspired by a Doctor Strange comic book. It sold 13 million copies. Uh, it has gone gold three times in Germany. Uh, it, it, it went on to be gold three times. Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. Then it's three times platinum in Canada. And then it's platinum in the United Kingdom and, of course, here in America. And last, I've got an album that I really don't know too much about, to be completely honest, but I just seen that this seemed to have a lot of the songs that I remembered, and this is uh, Beach Boys' Endless Summer. Here's the gatefold. And uh, on this one, they've got Surfing Safari, Surfer Girl, Catch a Wave, The Warmth of the Sun, Surfing USA, uh... Be True to Your School, Little Deuce Couple, In My Room, Shut Down, Fun, 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 I Get Around, The Girls on the Beach, Wendy, Let Him Run Wild, Don't Worry Baby, California Girls, Girl Don't Tell Me, Help Me Rhonda, You're So Good to Me, and All Summer Long. This is a double LP on black vinyl and Capitol. All right, now, how I was talking about the Judy Garland, this is kind of like how the other guy that I saw on YouTube he had the same exact capital as this one does. And, uh, like I said, I, I'm still confused because, again, I've only seen that one copy if it's an original or not. Uh, other than that, it didn't come with anything else. And, uh, like I said, I just need to get back to doing videos. So, that's why I'm trying to do some stuff that I've had lying around and stuff that, uh, I hadn't showed off yet and stuff I wanted to go more into that more in in depth with so uh thank you for watching and subscribing and i hope you all have a happy holidays and hopefully i'll be back 
uh, before then. Actually, I will be. I'm going to be doing my top 20 albums of the year. And uh, I'll be doing an interview uh, type thing uh, with my girlfriend on her taste in metal and how, since she's been with me, how her taste for metal, if it's any better or if she enjoys metal any more than what she did before. And uh, i trying to think. There's something else. Uh, well, anyway, I hope you guys have an excellent day and I will see you in the next video.